All right, so let's get right into it. Imagine a car from Toyota, you know, the biggest automaker on the planet, that's so small, so completely different, it basically throws out the entire rule book. That's what we're talking about today. The Toyota FT Me, a tiny, tiny vehicle with an absolutely massive idea driving it. It's a simple question, right? But it really pushes back against everything we think we know about cars. You know, we're all kind of taught to think bigger is better. More range, more horsepower, more space. Well, Toyota is making a huge bet on the exact opposite. And I mean, just look at this. The difference is night and day. A typical SUV, well, it needs its full parking spot. The FT Me, it just needs half of one. It's a complete break from what we consider normal. And what's so wild about this whole thing is who's making it. This isn't some quirky little startup. This is Toyota, the biggest car company in the world. So that just makes you wonder, just how small are we really talking here? Let's actually break down the numbers, because this is where things start to get truly mind-bending. So get this, in a lot of places, this thing isn't even technically a car. It's what's called a quadricycle, a special class of vehicle that's so light and low-powered that the rules are just totally different. It's even shorter than the original smart car, weighs practically nothing, and it runs on about 8 horsepower. Top speed? A brisk 45 kilometers per hour. And because of all that, in some parts of Europe, a 14-year-old can legally drive one. Just let that sink in for a moment. Which brings us right back to the central mystery here. Why would a company famous for building the Camry and the RAV4 build something that, let's be honest, looks a bit like a toy? Well, the answer is all in its design and, even more importantly, its purpose. And you can see that purpose in every single piece of its design. Every weird angle, every unusual feature, it's not just there to look cool. It's built to solve the real problems of a modern city. The design itself is just unapologetically futuristic, almost robotic. Some people have even called it Gundam-inspired. But here's the thing. It's all about function. Cameras take the place of mirrors to keep it super narrow. Only tiny sections of the windows actually open to save weight and complexity. And those super skinny tires? They're all about squeezing out every last bit of efficiency. But the most brilliant feature is sitting right on top. That solar panel on the roof is not just for show. On a sunny day, it can actually generate up to 19 miles of range for free. Now think about your average city commute. For a lot of drivers, that's not just a nice little extra. That could be your entire trip to work and back, powered by nothing but the sun. That is a total game changer. And this is exactly how Toyota themselves are talking about it. They literally see this trend of bigger, heavier cars as a sickness. They call it car obesity. So the FT Me is their answer, their proposed cure. It's a direct challenge to this idea that we all need two and a half ton machines just to go pick up some groceries. But the real revolution here isn't its size. It's who can use it. And this right here is where the FT Me goes from being just a clever little city car to something, well, something truly profound. It's all built around this concept called inclusive design. So inclusive design is this idea that you don't build something for the so-called average person and then make special versions for other people. Nope. You design it from the very beginning to work for everyone. And Toyota baked this idea right into the heart of the FT Me. Here it is. This is the single biggest, most game-changing innovation in this entire car. There are no foot pedals. None. Acceleration, braking, it's all done with hand controls built right into the steering wheel straight from the factory. This isn't some aftermarket kit that costs thousands of dollars to install. This is standard. Just think about what that means. For many wheelchair users or people with lower body disabilities, the FT Me is ready to go right off the showroom floor. It instantly becomes one of the most accessible, disability-friendly vehicles ever made. And the forward thinking doesn't even stop there. Okay, so let's talk about the environment. Because the numbers here are just as shocking as its size. The FT Me uses three times less energy per kilometer than a normal electric car. So how's that even possible? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Because it's so incredibly light and efficient, it completely avoids the biggest problem with modern EVs, needing these massive, heavy, resource-hungry batteries just to haul themselves around. But this? This is the truly mind-blowing number. Its total carbon footprint, from making it in the factory to driving it on the road, is 90% smaller than a typical EV. And that's all thanks to its tiny mass and the fact that it's built with a ton of recycled materials. So what this means is it's not just about zero emissions while you're driving. It's about completely rethinking the entire life of a car to be as sustainable as it can possibly be. 
So where does this little radical car actually fit into the bigger picture? Is this just a cool experiment or is Toyota actually serious about this? Well, to understand Toyota's bet, you really have to look at the market that's already out there. These little microcars, like the Citroën Ami and the Fiat Topolino, they're already buzzing all over European cities. But if Toyota jumps in, they bring this level of engineering trust and global reputation that could take this whole category from a quirky niche to a mainstream solution. And the FTB's unique features, those hand controls and that solar roof, already set it way apart from the competition. What this really represents is a deep philosophical shift. I mean, for decades, the car industry has been chasing everything on the left side of this screen. More range, more speed, more complexity. The FTME is basically an argument for a completely different set of values. Convenience for city living, the safety that comes with low speeds, radical simplicity, and real actual sustainability. This quote just nails it, doesn't it? It perfectly captures the spirit of this whole project. In a color culture that's just obsessed with growth and excess, Toyota is making this very deliberate, very calculated bet on the power of less. It's a statement that the smartest solution isn't always the biggest one. And I guess that's the thought I really want to leave you with. Look, the FTME isn't the 300-mile range self-driving electric super SUV we've all seen in sci-fi movies. It's something smaller, something humbler, and maybe, just maybe, something a lot smarter. It's a future that's focused not on luxury, but on access. Not on raw power, but on responsibility. It might not be the future we all expected, but in our crowded, polluted cities, it might just be the future we actually need.